Well, it looks like I finally got my Turk burner running the way I wanted it to. Um, the goal here is to burn off some of the byproduct from making biodiesel, the glycerin byproduct. I go ahead and uh, leave the methanol in it instead of boiling it out like you would when you make soap. It uh, helps burn, it keeps it thin, and it helps flow through the pipes. What I did here is I uh, made a Tarek burner. Uh, there's lots of plans out there on the internet. Um, what I did to modify mine is to feed the uh, glycerin into it and preheating it because it atomizes at about 400 degrees if I'm correct. Um, at any rate, it needs to get pretty hot so it burns uh, with a clean combustion. As you can see here, there's a little smoke, but not bad. Um, what I did here is I made the most redneck contraption I could come up with. Just had a bunch of scrap steel laying around the yard, so welded uh, these uh, legs out to hold these homemade fuel cells that I made. And this is just a uh, four inch PVC. You can use whatever size you want. Get a bottom and a top uh, with a screw cap. PVC glue a bottom and uh, bought the uh, UNC threaded pipe tap from Harbor Freight. Only about 11 bucks. And uh, went ahead and tapped the size hole that is required for this fitting. Um, did this flare fitting to a copper tubing to this needle valve here and from the needle valve just ran the copper down and around so it preheats um, and I did the same side over same thing over here but I'm running regular waste motor oil on one side and the glycerin on the other side the motor oil kind of helps burn the glycerin, otherwise the glycerin doesn't burn very well. Uh, so far it seems to be working okay. Uh, I, I use quarter inch copper tubing since it's the cheapest, but looking back I kind of maybe have wanted to use uh, 3 8 because on the colder nights that, that oil and, and uh, glycerin has a tendency to not want to flow. So, anyways, it works alright for now. I'll probably be tinkering with it and probably adding some safety features such as this guy keeps the uh, ashes from the paper towels that I used to start it from flying out but uh, down the line I think I'm gonna make a heat deflector kind of like a uh, drum symbol looking thing up here so it'll uh, kind of help bounce the heat back down instead of up and out and maybe eventually if I uh, clear out the garage enough, I can use it to heat the garage a little bit. Um, right now, it's kind of a fire danger. I, I, I'll probably have to throttle it down and keep it from making too much fire. But it works all right. It's a great outdoor heater. Um, and it burns byproduct off. Something, something else useful uh, to further recycle. Anyways, enjoy.